It's time. You're listening to the ECG Hackers Podcast. And welcome to this week's Hackers Podcast. Every episode available on Spotify and YouTube. ECG, where everybody can golf. Now watch this drive. Hey there, golf lovers. Welcome to the 12th episode of the Hackers Podcast. I'm your host for this evening. I'm the Ash Man, and alongside me, as always, Zook. How are you, brother? I'm pumped, mate. It's Masters Week. Um, it really is. This episode, mate. Really pumped. When, when you're a golf fan and you're down under like we are, we have some very late nights ahead of us. <laughs> <laughs> we do indeed. We do indeed. Now, no matter where you are in the world, uh, whether you're from Uganda, Thailand, Taipei, South Africa, and our growing audience in India, we welcome you. Uh, it's great to have you all on board. Uh, we've got some uh, great stuff coming up this hour. We've got our two favorite segments, Ripped or Yipped, Who's in Your Four Ball, which is actually going to be Masters themed. And later on is the draft fantasy for yeah, the US Masters. Our inaugural Chris. fantasy draft. So looking forward to that. Something I cooked up. So, um, Love it. Yeah, hopefully it all works Pumped. out. Pumped. Pumped for this week. Uh, after the break, there'll be a whole bunch of new faces. At Car Lovers, we know how much you love your car and how important it is to keep it in top-notch condition. That's why we've created the Car Lovers Infinity Wash Club, an affordable and convenient way to ensure your car stays sparkling clean all year round. Say hello to unlimited auto car washes for less than 10 bucks a week. For details, head to carlosexpress.com.au. Thank you, Belvedere. There's a lot of noise going out there. Can you turn it down a bit? A lot going on in the green room. Look who is with us right here, right now. Uh, Rambo, welcome aboard again, brother. Yes, sir. Oh, mate, it's, it's pumping back there. Bernard Fanning's back there. It's, it's, it's oh! Amazing. Going on. <laughs> amazing. It's a big party night tonight. Bernard Fanning and the president of the ECG joining us again with one of the most beautiful haircuts I've seen in a long time. Damo, welcome. Thanks, Ash. Good evening, gentlemen. It's I've actually worked it out. It's my best Travis, Travis Bickle, taxi driver. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. He's very close. Not bad. Very much. Pretty Mate, close. we've missed you. How have you been, Dame? You've been good? Well, thanks, Ash. And it's great to be back. And, of course, Masters, Masters Week just brings so much uh, oh. joy, doesn't it, really? So looking forward to tonight's episode big time. Absolutely. And as always, my favourite Port Macquarie in, Dooley, brother, how are you, mate? Good, mate. I must say, I've just seen the greatest T-shirt in the green room. You, you, oh, nice. love that when it comes out. Um, yeah, oh. Happy Masters Week, everyone. <laughs> happy Masters <laughs> Week. Same to you. Uh, very important segment coming up. Let's get this show rolling like a perfect putt and head over to Zook in the ECG newsroom. Over to you. Thanks again, as always, Belvedere, for the lovely intro. Um, probably starting with local news and perhaps not news of the best kind. That was certainly this past weekend not a great weekend for, for golfers, particularly on the east coast of Australia. <laughs> yeah. uh, staying low-pressure system brought hundreds of millimetres of rain on Friday and Saturday. Um, all the courses I know in Sydney were, were declared closed for the right. weekend. Um, and unfortunately, of course, you know, close to the hearts of a lot of the ECG members, Linwood um, is back underwater again. Uh, so, you know, this rain also led to uh, the Australian Women's Classic, which um, was being held at Bonville, which is not mm -hmm. too far away from you, Dooley. Uh, yep. That tournament ended up being declared rained out after only one round. So, uh, Dooley, how did your local Warhope course fare with the rain bomb, um, you know, this past rain weekend, bomb. were you able to get on this week? <laughs> um, they did open the course. I think they might have closed it on the Saturday. It was an absolute mess, man, on the Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Um, just, yeah, look, looking over the fence, it was it was horrible. They banned, I think they brought carts back on maybe the Wednesday. Um, wow. Limited, limited it to the rough only. So a lot of um, older fellas. A lot of unhappy uh, uh, members. Yeah. Yeah. I love how you call it rain bomb. Massive rain oh, bomb. 
That's what the media journalistic what he calls it. Well, you are a journo now, isn't he? <laughs> Probably a very sad week for our car lover sponsor, I'd imagine. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Not much to report. New Damo being north of Sydney as well at Newcastle. Much, uh, much weather causing havoc uh, on your local up there? Very wet up here, Chris. Uh, Newcastle Golf Club struggled, but... You're right about Linwood. Um, unbelievable. I, I think it might be the sixth or seventh time in the last sort of two and a half years. It's wow. kind of extraordinary. Really? I, mean, I, think, I think the thing that we all need to keep in mind, it is located in pit town bottoms. Right. So um, right. it's virtually below sea level. So mm-hmm. any sub yeah. that's called pit town bottoms is... Uh, yeah, that's cool. right. Exactly. <laughs> so, but it's certainly I never might explain why last time we were playing there, gentlemen, there was a few pelicans on the course as well. So. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You can almost call it the Pit Town Gooch, maybe. <laughs> anyway. I don't know. Yeah, moving on, on. Uh, over to the LPGA and um, Nellie's hot streak continues as she took out the uh, T Mobile match play tournament uh, in Las Vegas. Yep. Uh, Nelly's win made it uh, three wins in three weeks and her mm-hmm. first consecutive win on the tour. Uh, qualifying for the match play element uh, of the tournament as the sixth seed, um, she was never really tested along the way um, and in the end um, defeating uh, Leona Maguire four and three in the final. Um, Ash, if Nelly was to receive an invite to Augusta mm-hmm. this week, uh, what mm-hmm. percentage chance would you uh, give her to make the cut? Mate, I thought long and hard about this. I really did. And it was a great question you, you posed me this morning. Look, look, even though this year, I've got to say, isn't the strongest Augusta field because there's some amazing guys missing. If she was in the field to, this week, I honestly would only give her a 12 to 15% chance of making the cut. Wow. If okay. we're playing, is she playing off the men's tees? 12%, right? So you've got to think Augusta is one of the toughest golf situations there would be. I'm sure you guys agree. Um, imagine going there for the first time up against men. Um, even though she's got one of the most beautiful swings there are, I would only rate it very, very low. So I would think even an Anthony Kim would probably probably beat Nelly Corder off the off the off the pin. So um even though her recent form has been amazing, she's got a great experience playing on similar courses and her ability to adapt to Augusta's layout could be pretty hard. Um, that's why I was a bit tough on her, Chris. But um, it would be interesting to think what you guys think. Was I too harsh there or what? No, I, I reckon um, – I don't think she'd make the cut, but she, she's she got a level head on her, eh? It's just good to mm. see, watch her play and she's having a giggle. She's laughing with the caddy. Nothing yeah. to bother her. It's, it's really yeah. good to see. Yeah, I'm tough ass. So, Chris, what do you think? I know you're a big fan. What do you What do you think? I, I had a fifty fifty. Um, to be okay. honest, is um, you know, in that rare patch of form that I reckon she's probably the most um, informed golfer in the world at the moment mentally. Yeah, you know, she's in the right headspace and probably could tackle anything put in front of her. But um, mm-hmm. but I understand the challenges that Augusta present and. Um, mm. Yes, she's a long hitter for a female, but yes, I understand yeah. the difficulty that she would have from the championship tees. But mm. um, I'd, I'd really like her to beat Gary Player. That would be great. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what is you and Gary up. Player? I uh, uh, yeah, really anyway, doesn't like Gary. It doesn't at me. all. Anyway, uh, um, moving over to the male side of uh, things, um, it certainly was an exciting Monday morning. If you're watching the golf with both the PGA and Live tournaments uh, needing a playoff to determine a winner. Yeah, uh, focusing on the PGA, it was Ashke Bahtia uh, who held off a surging Denny McCarthy to win his second PGA Tour event on the first playoff hole. Um, on the last hole of regulation, uh, Bahtia needed to sink an 11-foot putt to force the playoff. Uh, mm-hmm. But what transpired next was just, just bizarre. <laughs> yeah. uh, during his fist bump <laughs> celebration after sinking the putt, uh, Bahtia managed to dislocate his shoulder. <laughs> Whoa. But I, uh, so I can't be surprised, but when you see that he's a very slight figure. He is a slight figure, um, but uh, somehow he managed to continue to the playoff and hit his drive, but uh, then needed to receive medical treatment prior to his approach shot on the first playoff. <laughs> uh, and then after that, he was able to close out his putt for the win. So uh, 
tip of the cup to the gentleman to play through <laughs> through the dislocation. But um, yeah. Dooley, I'm putting aside the explosive diarrhea incident that you'd shared with ah. you previously. Um, what is the worst injury or, 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 or equivalent that you've had to overcome during a round of golf? <laughs> oh, during a round of golf? Yeah. Um, well, it's going to have to be just like ongoing lower back pain, I guess, mate. Yeah, like yeah, uh, it's it's a bugger to overcome, but yeah, doesn't doesn't compare to the darting off into the shrubs for a toilet. But yeah, anyway. the toilet stuff. <laughs> Un- unscheduled. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's bleak. I've got. got what about Damo? Damo? Damo's there. Yeah, yeah. I've got a couple. Um, bunions. Oh, <laughs> corns or whatever that is. Fairly recently, I actually was on the second hold at Newcastle playing by myself. Yeah. And a bee st- I got a bee sting on my hand. Oh, oh no. No way. Yes, it hurt a lot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> on the right <laughs> hand. Right hand, I'm guessing. Yeah. That's right. Right in the webbing. So, yeah. Oh, no. yeah. Rand, you had, you, you had something there too, bro. I've seen a thing. I did. I remember seeing someone in WWE doing the same thing. I think they were walking in the ring, like big entrance, and he's like, yep. you know, going nuts to the crowd. Yeah. He put, yeah. <laughs> he's he pulled his shoulder out. Like he's having game or something, just totally blew his shoulder out. So Yeah. Uh, and what about when Vince McMahon ran down to the oh, ring yeah. and went to slide in and dislocated both his kneecaps or something? Yeah, he, both his uh, quad blew out. <laughs> Yeah. He blows, and, then, and he's uh, sitting in the corner yeah. trying to. <laughs> it's hilarious. Yeah. Oh, it we, had, now, but anyway. we can't forget mm-hmm. Adam Woods at State of Origin running in to jump up on the crowd of people, and they all shifted. Oh, <laughs> no. He just hit the deck face first. That was a good one. Oh. That was a good one. Love it. Um, but if you thought uh, Batia's fist bump shoulder dislocation was the most bizarre thing that happened at the, uh, at the PGA event this week, you'd probably be wrong. Um, I don't know yeah. if you saw Jordan Spieth's adventures on the 18th on Saturday. Um, mm, I did. They go down in the Hackers um, Hall of Fame. Uh, having an errant drive, he ended up behind some trees uh, and then playing his second shot. Um, the second shot hit the tree and, and made its way further left and was really in an unplayable lie behind a, a cement train um, and really had no feasible <laughs> uh, option. <laughs> but thinking laterally here, this was what was impressive. And having a discussion yeah. with the rules official, Spieth yeah. decided to, to Spieth decided to play his third shot well away from the hole and aimed it directly at the clubhouse. Yeah. Uh, and having for, for whatever reason, the clubhouse was not out of bounds. And by landing his third shot on the roof of the clubhouse, which was no yeah. easy feat given where he was. He was yeah. granted free relief and able to take a free drop in front of a temporary scoreboard and have wow. a much better look at the green. Um, so I was really struggling to understand what was happening when he was doing it. So, so what was that? His, his third shot, he got a free relief because he put it onto the clubhouse. Yeah. Is that what yeah. happened? That's basically yeah. what happened. He had his second shot, which was behind the drain, no avenue to, to forward the, the ball towards yeah. the towards the that green. Way. Right. Started, you know, thinking laterally. Spoke to the rules official. Brilliant. And must yeah. have said, if I put it on the roof, where do I get, yeah. where do I get a drop? Um, yeah, he's cool. To wow. his advantage, yeah, genius. Yeah, yeah. Played it out to his advantage. It was really cool. So, um, hey, Chris, I've got a, I've got one about something similar. If I can share with you, go for it. Go um, for it. Uh, mid ninety, mid nineties. Myself and Damo um, used to play against each other. I had uh, Lock on my team. Damo had Chunk on his team. It was North Ride Golf Course. It must have been 96, 97. Uh, we came to the 18th hole. I've got a picture on screen if you're watching on YouTube or watching us on Spotify. Now, Locke and I had to win the hole to, to beat Dame and Chunk. And it used to get pretty fiery, Dame, didn't it? Yeah, we did. Lots of um, and, yeah, it was Locke's tee off. He's teed one off at the, at the 18th hole. He's, he's topped it and it went onto the roof of North Ride Golf Course. Like right on top of the bar area. It's yeah. jingle jangled around on the, the roof and dribbled down back onto the fringe of the green. Yes. <laughs> so it's it's actually and it's come back a good 15, 20 meters back onto yeah. the fringe of the green. It was oh. one of the most amazing accidents I've ever seen. And then yeah. Dame, do you recall he actually hit that 30, 40 foot putt from the yes, edge to win? Yes. For a birdie. And, and then went to 
and did a lap of the whole course, pretty much around the whole course, just to rub it in. Like, that's right. Still, still God bless him. Still yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody else had anything similar? That's using a backboard, yeah. isn't it, really? Pretty it is. much. And I think that'll be tough to beat. But um, if we if we continue moving on and, and just dealing with the exciting finish on, on Liv, um, it was uh, Dean Burmester of South Africa who clinched um, the victory uh, by beating Sergio Garcia on, a, on mm. the second playoff hole. Mm -hmm. um, it was really an, an exciting finish overall with the mm -hmm. lead changing six times, um, but it was Burmeister and... Uh, Burmester and Garcia who made it into the playoff um, mm. with Garcia finding water on his approach shot mm. on the second playoff hole. Um, Burmester really only needed to play it safe and in the end the tournament was his. So, mm. yeah, um, I guess we'd live but shifting our focus back to the Masters, if my maths is right, um, I have 13 live golfers uh, in the final invite list to Augusta and one of those being the defending champion, uh, John Ram. Um, mm -hmm. Being the defending champion, Ram gets to set the menu for the traditional Tuesday night yes. champion's dinner. Um, Ash, if you were champion, what would be on oh. your menu? <laughs> what would be on my menu? Oh, I actually I was hoping you'd ask me this because I've created something culinary, culinary here. spectacularly, and I'd love to hear Rand's idea and Damo and do it, but... Okay, my entree. My entree would be a stuffed baked potato, a bit of bacon, sour cream, chives, little ones, little ones. Then you'll have a choice of green curry prawn soup. Uh, no choice, actually. You're gonna have to. You have to have that green curry prawn soup. <laughs> <laughs> my main course is. I took this very seriously. A garlic butter kangaroo steak with quondong, which is an Australian uh, Davidson yeah. plum. Rosemary, mountain pepper, which is another Australian um, herb and spice, and then a bit of garlic. So I'm going with that real Aussie vibe, uh, yeah. garlic butter kangaroo steak, or you can have a paper bark wrapped charcoal fired barramundi <laughs> with lemon with lemon herbs and macadamia nuts. So I've really gone Aussie there. Nice then I'm going to top it off with a um, apple turnover, but we'll add a few peaches in there because we're in Georgia. So I'll have an apple and peach turnover, dusted with icing sugar and a bit of a, a bit of uh, Peter's vanilla ice cream. Love it. <laughs> That's my I'm master's very dinner, very Damo. What do you think? You put it down. I think I'm there, and, and you're right. Actually, there is no choice, isn't it? You just tell you just tell people what it is. So yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll chime in. Well, mine's not as uh, as as culinary as yours. Not not as. Uh, <laughs> hot as yours. So I've I've gone sardines pie. Um, oh. Microwave. Microwave. <laughs> before you put it in the oven. Um, that's my main sergeant pie and loads of Marty sauce on it. Yeah. And yep. um, a, a chaser, a um, custard tart chaser from Trapper's Bakery in Goulburn. So. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, Red, what about you? I would just swap out the pie you mentioned. Oh. I think you got too many courses. I just want to have it all in one. So I'd have right. you guys like a, a sausage roll in a bread roll. Oh, oh there's wow. nothing that's better. Back to high school. We all know what that's about, don't we? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Say that again for the people who don't know what we're talking about. You get a sausage roll. Yep. And you put it in a long bread roll. So you yep. place yeah. it in there like a, you know, like a hot dog bun. Yep. Yeah, hot dog bun style, like yeah. probably a nice good bun like that. Yeah. And then you yeah, drizzle it with sauce and you eat oh. that like you're yeah, in one go. It's like a go anywhere barbecue. Hey, oh, I love it. It is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's Thursday sport. Yeah. Yes. Canteen food. It's a canteen, you bit of yeah. luxury canteen. Nice. Yeah. Dooley, oh. mate, what about you, brother? What's on your menu? Oh. Well, having trade background, I was just thinking, I'd yes, like that's right. Pen up. And just put out the bag hangers. <laughs> yes. Uh, queue up. Um, most recent yep. winner to last. Yeah. Yep. Pretty oh much God. just join the back of the queue. Keep it like a rotunda of sausages. It'd be sensational. <laughs> oh. But still, I'd be still charging for the drinks. Yeah, nice. Yes, $2.50 for the drinks. For the drinks. Pacino. It's the master. You'd have to have Pacino in there. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Kirk's. 
Awesome. Hey, uh, on that note, Chris, thanks for bringing us the news this episode 12, as always. Anything else there we're missing, or is that it? Um, did you want to touch on Tiger and Rory, or let's touch? Go? Let's touch away. Let's get touchy. All right. So, yeah. um, you know, in my mind, we couldn't go, um, you know, or hold a, a Masters preview without mentioning Tiger <laughs> or Rory. So, uh, in relation to Tiger, uh, we, re- you know, recall the recent scenes of his withdrawal at uh, Riviera. Yes, so we do. That up ran. Um, <laughs> and he is uh, yet to tee it up in any tournament since. So, yep. um, however, on a positive side, he is at Augusta, uh, and it was mm-hmm. reported during uh, the range coverage that at uh, the Masters, um, Will Zalatoris uh, said that he was being outdriven by Tiger during a, uh, a practice round. So right. um, this year, Tiger has the opportunity to break the record for the most consecutive cuts made at Augusta. Right. Uh, he's presently okay. tied with Fred Couples and Gary Player. There you go, Dooley. On 23 consecutive cuts made. Um, right. And so, Ran, in short, um, do you think Tiger will make the cut at the Masters? Um, I mean, I'm the I'm a bit still a bit burned by it all. It, look, if yeah. it, I don't think I know there's no in and out burger in. Um, <laughs> yeah. so if that was the source of the problem, I think yeah. we would. Yeah. Um, right. Catering a bit more is a bit better there. Than yeah. The, yeah. Uh, that burger food truck. So if yeah. without out of play, he's probably got a good chance to get through two rounds. I was just yep. looking actually at sports bet. He's um he's paying a hundred and one dollars the same as Adam Scott. So to, to win. Yeah. To okay. Um so I don't know. I think that's probably pretty, pretty fair actually to to him and Adam Scott, yeah. I don't think Adam Scott has got no. got what it takes at the moment. No. And Jason to to compare Min Willie and Jason Day are both seventy one bucks. So, wow, um, yeah, I I think I'd get on Jason Day, but um, yeah, but he, he's not a that's a reasonable. But uh, yeah, all seriousness, I think I think he can. I think he should be able to make the cut. Yeah, he's, yeah he's competitive. Pineapple on Tiger to win round. Yeah, nice. Yeah, well, I think I've got one on Jason Day. So nice. Yeah. Nice. Um, I, I think I, you, can, I, you can never I, rule him out. Sorry, Simon. Sorry, Damo. No, I, I I so want to see it happen. Like mm. I really enjoyed Tiger's career as he gets older, and him as a human being as he gets older. Um, mm. If there's one place where special things happen for him, mm. it's definitely Augusta. So yeah. my mm. only worry is, is he's walking up and down those hills because he can't yep. walk. You know? That just feels yep. like he can't. So no. you think up and down the hills? Um, I give him every chance. Special things happen there for him. I was mm-hmm. reminded. Yeah. That, remember Jack Nicholson's Jack Nicholson's run in 1998. Yeah, when he was 55 years old, um, and he was making yep. a charge. Um, yes, which was when he was 55, 56. Yes, actually. maybe even he's 46 in 86. So he would have been yeah 65. Yeah. Yeah, right. So crazy things happen there. I'd love to see it yeah. I think um, Gary Player said something this week that I think is abs- I think it was Gary Player spot on. Um, he said Tiger Woods is going to kill it in the seniors because they have gold carts. Um, I, the only thing that's going to stop Tiger is that walking in between. Yeah. So I yeah. really hope he can get through because his mental game, his confidence, he owns that golf course. Mm-hmm. And if he yeah. can, if he can just keep consistent. Um, you know, he'll be in the game. But yeah. 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 As long as he stays away from his other special place, Hooters, he'll be laughing. <laughs> That's yeah. right. I thought it was IHOP. But anyway, um, oh, yeah. we're running out of time, Ash. We might leave it there. We've got special guests waiting. So uh, let's Absolutely. After the break. Big brand golf ball is up to 70% cheaper than retail. We're one of Australia's largest sellers of secondhand golf balls. So you save big time. Discountgolfballs.com.au Hey there, guys. It's Steve here in the sound booth. Belvedere has got his hands full looking after the green room at the moment. He's asked me to step in. You will have a special guest on his way now from the backstage area. He's super pumped too. Back to you, Ash. Thank you, Steve. Belvedere is definitely busy there. It's been noisy. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the stage, to the floor, Club Lock. How are you, brother? Good, mate. I just... 
Belvedere was thank you guys. Um, Belvedere was telling me about his life history, and you know he used to be a um, used to work on a morning show. I don't know whether you guys heard of it or not. But <laughs> got an interesting history. He does lots of stories. Yeah. And is he is he a good host back there, mate? Good host oh, yeah, back yeah. there. He's yeah, just all talk is yeah, amazing. Yeah, did he have everything hooked up for you? You had skittles and stuff that you wanted, and yeah, yeah, we had the protein skittles. shakes. Had, yeah, some other drink. He didn't tell me the ingredients, but it was nice. Nice. <laughs> do that. Kill a little mudslide, I think. I think so. Mudslide. <laughs> I'm sure you had some old uh, time with the, uh, with old Moonface. Yeah, yeah. old Moonface. Ah, yeah. oh, yeah. legend. Legend of the game. Uh, I think I can hear Dooley. Belvedere, can you bring Dooley out, please? There we go. He's back. Dooley's back. Oh, I've been um, in there for long. Don't know what happened. Uh, <laughs> 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 it was all the blur. Uh, all right. It is, uh, it is time for my favourite <clears throat> time of the week. Um, and here I'm struggling with the computer right now. Here we go. Run the, run the videotape, Belvedere. There, everyone. It's Belvedere here again. It's time for this week's Who's in Your Four Ball? Back to you, Ash Man. Thank you, Belvedere. JC, pumped for this. You know how this works? Who's in your four ball? I, I've watched you guys for the last 11 episodes, so I, I should be able to, <laughs> to, to answer the right questions, but. My, right. I'll go last, so let's just see what you guys come up with. Okay, okay. Now, Dooley, is that the shirt you were trying to rip off him earlier? Yeah, the man, is wearing. It. The, there we go. What, it, what have we got there, Jace? What's that? Uh, it's a less than Jake shirt with a. I think they've got a link up with the uh, Golden Girls. <laughs> Golden uh, Girls. Um, I thought it was a bootleg, but it's actually on their website. So, no um, yeah, I'm rocking it today. So, love and it. For, for anyone that doesn't know Club Lock, um, he's a friend of the ECG. Not not particularly a golfer, but he's always he's ca carried the bag for me once or twice before. Uh, big music fan, and in the background behind him, he's got one of the greatest albums of all time, uh, Oasis. Definitely, maybe poster. So representing there nicely, Jace. Thank you, mate. And I must say, I almost got membership at Putton Games at, um, on Victoria Avenue over at yeah. uh, Ride. Yeah. So very, very close <laughs> to getting membership. Did you ever, did, oh. did, you, did you ever get the hole in one on the 18th? Because you used to get, uh, if you did that, I think you get a free free yeah. game, ice cream or something. Or no, you were just like on a, a perennial, just loop yeah, of just free rounds because you just kept acing that eighteenth and just kept yeah. getting. The, rounds. They had the jungle round or the jungle course, which was Phil Collins yeah. and Loop. That was <laughs> oh, the highlight. Ride King soundtrack. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Memories. <laughs> Damo you used to we used to pile into Damo's uh, Ford Escort back in the early nineties and head out to uh, Putton Games over at Ride in Sydney. Great days. Um, so this is this is sorry, Dave. This is who's in your four ball Masters theme because it's Masters week. Uh, we go around the ground and we give you tell us uh, who's in your four ball group. Um, and this week it's Masters themed. We'll start with, uh, as always, we start with uh, the Zook, the Secretary. Zook, to you first, bro. Cheers, Ash. Um, my theme this week was um, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So starting with the good, um, I picked Tiger Woods, but not any Tiger Woods. Uh, it's okay. 1997 Masters winning Tiger. Nice. Um, after that win, you know, golf would never be the same. After no. After a breakthrough performance at Augusta. Yep. Um, yep. There have been very few uh, true disruptors in the world of sports, and I would mm. put Tiger right up there at the top of the list. I um, mm -hmm. would certainly just love to have a round with him uh, to get an insight into Tiger before his celebrity just, you know, his celebrity yeah. and his the like just hit mm. another stratosphere. Mm. So, yeah. Um, Moving on to the bad. So the bad is um, Francesco Molinari from 2019. <laughs> so um, Augusta has broken many a golfer, but yep. um, one that I take pity on most is perhaps Francesco. Uh, coming off an epic 2018 in which he won the Open Championship and went a perfect, perfect five for five in the Ryder Cup. Um, there was no one I enjoyed watching more at that point in time on a golf course yeah. than Molinari. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And he was certainly a real threat heading into 2019. Um, but, you know, again, he was leading Tiger by one stroke but but fell victim yeah. 
uh, on the twelfth, landing his yep. his shot short of the hole and watching it just trickle down uh, into the water, and and not only his chance at the tournament, but really his um you know his career mm. since mm. has just never been the same. Yeah, uh, yeah. and then finally uh, the ugly. So this is Billy Casper from two thousand and five. So Billy Casper oh. is an American golfer of note. He's in the Hall of Fame. He's won three right. majors and and including the 1979 Masters. So right. in 2005, he returned to compete as a previous champion. Uh, he was yep. aged 73 at the time. <laughs> wow. And at that point in time, he carded a 105, right. which Excellent. included a 14 on no. the 16th. Oh. However... This remains Ooh. the unofficial highest score at Augusta because he right. never handed in his scorecard. Oh. He, said, he said, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to frame it. So yeah. the tip of the cap to Billy. So that's my, yeah. that's my fault. Well, um, all right. Thank you. Thank you, Zook, for that one. Rambo, we'll head over to you now, mate. What do you got? Nice. Um, I just hope I interpreted this correctly, but just bear with me. Um, no, it's all good. Perfect. It's open to interpretation. The yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. It so is. my first guy, I this is a no-brainer. I had Skeletor as my first oh! guy. <laughs> 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 the 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 same the thing, oh, you killed me. Oh, you're kidding me. If somebody else has got that, it's ridiculous. <laughs> oh. Masters of the universe. We got a three-way. Are oh, you yeah. kidding me? So we got Skeletor, or, or I was going to say Prince Adam, but no, we got Skeletor. Yeah, so, yeah, um, yeah. Love it. I, I think you could bring a little bit of sorcery out there, <laughs> um, <laughs> which we which we'll need for this team. Um, and that skull, one wood he's got. That one wood with the skull on the end. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't he the he's owner like and proprietor of Ram Clubs? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. He's got the rim <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah. Chase, what have oh, we got? Club I, think, I think you're talking about the spot here, right? Club has got one. Skeletor on him. That's what you're talking about, right? <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it works well, actually. It's quite... Oh, priceless. <laughs> Yeah, well. oh, yeah. <laughs> that, is, that is probably is, he is a bit of a bungle, so you've got to be oh, yeah. a bit <laughs> hard to deal with. He's the universe is nice. You, nice you're talking trash. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. If anyone didn't get that, it's the Masters of the Universe. So, yes, um, yes, yes, yes. Uh, oh. Second guy, I had to drop this guy, unfortunately, so I had to drop him. Um, or go right. Blue. Um, Augustus, I'll say it again just in case you Augustus Blue. <laughs> Blue <Wonka. laughs> Hang on, I'll go get that fucking figurine as well. <laughs> no, I'm joking. That. No, no, no. No. From Willy Wonka. Um, nice. oh, I had to let him go, unfortunately. He was a little bit greedy around the snack cart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> had, to, had to let him go. Uh, and if anyone doesn't get it, it's Augustus. Yeah, um, love it. Seriously, though, the, this guy, um, George's wrestling country. So I had to get someone from yep. Georgia, and it's um, and he's come off a big week. So I, yep. I had to bring the new Universal Champion WWE, Cody Cody Rhodes. So nice. He's from Georgia. Yeah, and he's representing. So oh, um, beautiful. And then the last one. So we dropped Augustus. Yeah, oh, you dropped him. I can't see you done there. Nice. Yeah, so, but, <laughs> Uh, a female, uh, we've got Peaches from Mario Golf. Uh, oh, uh, beautiful. Peaches, so, the state of Peaches. Uh, yeah, Princess so, Peach. Uh, yeah, she's, she's ready to go. So, um, Jeez, once again, you've brought the gold, Rambo. How do we keep up with that? Who wants to go next then? Um, Damo, what did you come up with? I'm now going serious. So uh, Yeah, no, good. Bring it down. Bring it back. Bring it back. I'll bring it back. To the, yeah. you know, the master. Um, um, I'm going Seve. I want to play with Seve. Oh. Um, I've got Ernie Els because I just love him. I always love yeah. him. Amazing. Yeah. I want to play with Jack. Jack Nichols, yeah. You know, nice. and he knows his way around there. Six green. And my fourth player is Shane Warren. Oh. oh. Warren. Warning. Warning back. Hole in one on the 16th at Augusta. Wow. He did. 
and that's not a well-known fact, but he certainly did manage to get access to the course. And the yes. great the Oh, I, want to I, think, be I think Jace is searching Google right now to just oh, to fact check that. Out. Yeah. <laughs> I want to find it. I want to see that. Oh. It, it was a brilliant shot, apparently. Well, of course it was. And Warney, only Warney could do something like that, couldn't he? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Best bowler of all time. Rocks yep. up to a gun and aces the 16th, which is a tough, tough hole to gaze. Oh. Uh, you got to definitely – it's that one. It's that green that really runs down to the hole. Right yeah. Right. So yeah, I want to see that. And, so and the fun. green's not – it runs like perpendicular to you the way you're coming in, doesn't it? Yes. It's yeah. quite narrow. Yeah. Tough so one. So Warnie aced that. I mean, how cool is that? Yeah, awesome. Hey, Dan, I really like that. Uh, Ernie Els, such a big, smooth swinger oh, at, at the club. Big, tall man as well. Um, I'll go next and we'll go Dooley and we'll finish on club lot. Um, I can't believe it. So I've picked um, – I went 50-50. I went Seve Ballesteros as well. Um, usually I would change my my um, picks as it goes around, but I'm going to stick with Seve. He was actually, for me personally, when I was growing up, Damo and I started playing golf when I was, oh, I was 10 years old. Um, and, yeah, I used to love watching Jack Nicklaus, um, Seve Ballesteros, Bernard Lunger, all those guys. But Seve was so dynamic and yeah. character, you know, and I used to love that. I was always in the bush. Dame can vouch for that. I was always in the bush trying to hit something off a, off a rock or over a tree. So, Seve Balasuros. Um, you have been a bush player for a long time. Oh, and don't I like being in the bush, find, but... Um, yeah. oh, sorry, Ash. I think you'll find Seve only had a three iron until he was about 12. That was yeah, the only I've heard he that. Yeah. Yep. And he just used... used just used a his... demon with it. Yeah. Yeah. Characteristic, <laughs> nice demo. Um, then I went with Greg Norman, the uh, patron saint of the Hackers podcast, um, and I wrote a little something. So Greg Norman's ability at the US Masters remains a tale of tantalising potential and elusive triumph. The Australian golfer's prowess on the course has been evident throughout his whole career, yet the Masters was proven to be too much of a formidable challenge for him. Uh, he had such a powerful swing. I used to love how he stood so upright, big, broad shoulders, and come down on that ball. Uh, I, I idolised Greg Norman as a, as a youngster, and that's why I still, to this day, I'm a big Liv, Liv fan, and I'll, I'll back Greg Norman, whatever he does. And then I tried to be funny, but Ram beat me to it. I went with Dolph Lundgren, because he was the pure <laughs> master of the universe in that, that yeah, that, that epic was... 1987 film where it was live action, he oh, man. I, I tried to watch that actually probably six months ago. It's a it's horrible. I remember we went and saw it at Hornsby yes. uh, Odeon Cinema. Yes, old, old cinema. It, yeah, I watched it. I tried to watch it again recently. It's horrible. It's horrific. Ah, oh, horrible. 1987 was never the same. Um, and then I actually went with a caddy. Now, have you ever noticed some of the great footage from 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s? The caddies are African-Americans. They all were. And the greats were. The top 10 caddies in, in the history of Augusta. Have a look at them. There's some amazing characters there. And this was – so I've gone with the caddy, Willie Pappy Stokes. So he's a godfather of Augusta Caddies, a true legend born and raised on the property grounds at the wow. former Fruitlands Nursery. He knew the grounds long before the course was even built by Bobby Jones and Cliff Roberts. He's best known for teaching other caddies how to read the greens and that all putts break towards Ray's Creek. Um, he helped his players get to five wins with four different players in 1938. 48, 51, 53, and 56. So my caddy is going to be Willie Pappy Stokes. Now, up until 1983, you had to have an Augusta National caddy. But ever okay. since 1983, you can bring your own. That's why they're showing up in all those highlights. Isn't that That's amazing? my four ball. Dooley, oh, brother, Port Macquarie, what's it bringing us? Okay. So I've gone, my first player is Adam Scott. Had to be there mm -hmm. when the first Aussie won. Mm -hmm. Would have been fantastic to see. Um, yeah. Second, second, I'm so I'm not actually in this group as a being. I'm in this right. group as a a voice. And 
It's Greg Norman. <laughs> and when he hits the 16th in 96, I'm just going to okay. say, lay up with a wedge. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. And, and that's just, it. Trust me. So, tr- yes, yeah, so, uh, go You're with the, the wedge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the third guy in my group is the late, great Arnold Palmer. Nice. And not not a young Arnold Palmer. I want him there okay. last year, the last year he played. Just yep. me and him listening to the stories. It would be a oh, sensational day. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't well, it? I've just given Man. myself goosebumps. Yeah, yeah. That's a legit awesome four ball. Now, uh, we're going to step up to the stage. We've got Club Lock here. He's going to join us for the first time. Uh, what uh, is or who is in your four ball? Yeah, I, I, think, I, I, I think I read it wrong. Um, but <laughs> want to go. Um, I won't have any of yours, but that's fine. Um, so the first one is Michael J. Fox. Okay. Um, All right. Modern day Michael J. Fox. I'm not that mean. I do like to win, but I'm, I'm not that mean. It's it's um, Marty McFly. So, okay. You know, I really enjoyed watching Back to the Future as a kid. Also, like Teen Wolf, so he could be in characters. Yeah. Marty McFly, or I think he's, he, I think he's um, Scott Howard. I think his name was from, from Teen Wolf. Yeah. yeah. But um, I just think it'd be fun to play around a golf with, you know. So yeah. He, he, you know, would bring that sort of positive energy. Yeah. Um, okay. Number, number two is Brad Pitt. Okay. But it's not the current day Brad Pitt. It's it's the Tyler okay. Durden Fight Club Brad Pitt. Oh um, yes, so yes. We've got, we've got the best fashion on the uh, in the Masters. Yeah. yeah. We've got words yeah. of wisdom. We've yeah. got great organizer. If you remember yeah. Fight Club. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I, I might even get him to call McFly a chicken and see him, see them fight it out. Oh no. We we just don't know. Um, yeah, he's a great caddy. He would be a great caddy. Yeah, yeah, he would be a good caddy. Ram, Ram. If it's Fight Club, Brad Pitt, he's a stickler for the rules too. And yeah, yeah, oh. that's all about Masters Club is don't talk about Masters Club. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <sure. laughs> um, and Very lastly, good. I've gone Iggy Pop. Um, oh, because, oh, a bit uh, erratic. But, you know, I'm a huge Bowie fan, but I think I'd be a bit intimidated to go play around a golf with Bowie. So I can ask oh. Iggy about questions about working with yeah. Bowie in Berlin. Um, yeah. And I also yeah. think you'd be a bit more fun <laughs> A bit more fun to play golf with. Um, so, he might have trouble with the, the dress regulations, though, because he, he, he's got his heavy shirt. Was wearing sparkly pants, but yeah. yeah. Um, and 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 just to make it, just to make it to be golf related, the caddy would be Nick Faldo. Oh, no, nice. Get him to carry um, someone else. Yeah, <laughs> try to get him to work, do we? Yeah. I can hear you breathing heavy over there. You're going off. What do we got? I was just saying, you've absolutely nailed that topic on the head, Jace. That was excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's from 11 episodes of watching you guys do it, so I, I <laughs> love it. Took something out of it. Love it. That was uh, that was me your four ball boys. Back after the break. Golf 49. Quality golf wear, $49. From mild to wild, our entire range of shirts, shorts and accessories are $49 each, including free shipping Australia-wide. Golf49.com.au Coming up in a moment, um, we've got Ripped or Yipped. I just wanted to take a quick second to thank anyone who listens to us around the world. We actually have a growing audience in India each week. So there's a lot of Indian golf fans growing out there. Um, They're growing. Uh, The audience is growing. Um, Uganda, we've got uh, some people from Uganda that listen every week. So hello to you. We really appreciate you listening. Uh, Coming up after the break, Julie's going to hit us with Ripped or Yipped. Hey fellas, Belvedere here again. It's time to go around the table with Ripped or Yipped. Let's see what side of the argument the boys are on. Ripped or Yipped. Back to you, Ash. Yells Dilly. Excellent, boys. All right, so this week's Ripped or Yipped, of course, is going to be about the Masters. First question, and yes, Ash, Mm -hmm. my eyesight is bad. (laughs) <laughs> the first question, winners should wear the jacket all year round. No exceptions. Ripped or yipped? Ripped. Okay. Ripped. Okay. Yeah, Chris? I'll, I'll, I'll rip that. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll go ripped as well, and I believe that they actually have the jacket for the year. and then They do, that, yes. That year it goes into the uh, champion's locker room where it stays. So, um, yeah. I, if I had won the Masters, I'd be wearing it every day. Yeah, that year. yeah. absolutely. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm a bit Rand? disappointed I don't take it to Vinny's, though. But anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah. I go <laughs> ripped. Yeah. Ripped? I, I go yeah. ripped. It's not really practical to be wearing it like all year round. So I was thinking yeah. maybe it's got to be like sort of like inside sport 1997 body paint. Oh. Should be. Oh. oh. So, I'm like sure there's a body paint. Semi permanent tattoo sort of thing. Yeah, it should be like under, so they can still go play other. <laughs> so yeah, right. what do you paint it underneath? And then you just yeah, on yeah. top. Brilliant. Yeah. I, I do recall. I think it was the day after Adam Scott won. He answered his um, room service call in the hotel wearing the jacket, and the bloke was oh, blown away that he had it. Absolutely it. would. Yeah, on, bugger uh, on the white sheets. Bugger on the white sheets. They ran real, real yeah. tough oh, on them. Yeah. 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 Damo, uh, over to you. Have we got yours? Oh, I'm ripping. I'm definitely ripping. Yep. I'm not ripping. Sure. Yep. Uh, yep. I'm ripping. I'm Jack, ripping that. Can't yeah, walk? I, I'm going to go yipped, guys. Um, there has to be one in every group that says yip. So yeah. um, I just I just think we don't want to punish a player if they live in a hot climate. So if you're living yeah. down in Florida and it's like, you know, 35 yeah. degrees, really humid, we don't want yeah. you sweating. Um, yeah. Look, give give them a polo shirt with an, a really rare yeah. emblem or something like that. But yeah. we don't want to we don't want to punish the, the winner. Yeah. That's Brand? a real- that's a really good point because if you remember the Oak Hill Blazers at school, <laughs> oh, um, yes. they, if you used to wear that and that got wet or sweaty, oh, yeah, it's yeah, terrible yeah. It's smell. Oh, it's a bad smell. It was a fish rotting, smell, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, rotting fish sort of smell. Yeah. Um, and th- that satin lining really clung to you when you got sticky too, so it yeah. wasn't very nice. Yeah, 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 great point. Excellent. All right, Dory, next. Okay, next. This is going to touch some nerves. Party nice. holes the Masters. <laughs> we'll yipped. go clockwise. So I'll go yipped. There's, there's no, 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 not at the Masters. Let's keep that clean. Yipped. <laughs> uh, I'm boring. Yeah, I'm tradition as well. So yipped from me. Yeah, yipped. Uh, um, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to yip that as well. <laughs> um, I think this makes sense. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to go against the grain here. I'm going to say yipped because this is. Oh! Uh, no. This is not rugby sevens where people dress up. It's not 2020 yeah. cricket. We yeah. dance and stand right. between yeah. We don't want any of those cringeworthy moments. So that's yips from me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I'm, I'm yipping it as well, boys. We can't have. Yeah, yeah. No. we've got to yeah. keep some. Tradition. Some things have got to stay sacred, eh? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, what have we got here? Okay, the Masters Par Three Comp Best Golf TV Ever. <laughs> What? Yipped? No. I, I, I mean, I did like seeing some of the kids playing and stuff, but no, nah, yipped. We can go without it. Uh, yipped by a thousand. I can't stand this now. It's become so uncompetitive in a family event. Um, my fix is whoever turns up, turns up um, with a 20 grand check. We have a field of 50. There's a million <laughs> yes. dollars on the line. Winner take yes. all. Yeah. Um, that'll uh, that, that'll uh, spice it up a little bit. Yeah, that's um, right. That's me. Yep. Yep. Yeah. yeah yep. I mean, you said, is it the best television? It's not the best television right now. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Right, right, right now, it's what? I don't know. There's plenty of other, uh, Kirby enthusiasm. Is, is, is yeah. Kirby. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Best, right. best uh, golf yeah. TV. Yeah. Oh, okay. Best golf TV. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, Still I, yep. can, I can find many YouTube clips that are more interesting than. <laughs> and you share them in the group chat too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say uh, yipped. No, really find it irritating, annoying. It's actually also that kind of. I want to get to the real tournament. When's mm. the real tournament starting? So yeah, that's the G up. It's a filler. Yeah. Yeah. Jay. Looks like it's straight yip to you guys. I've, I've been watching oh. Bert Newton, the mornings with Bert Newton. <laughs> and that's more entertaining. Um, so, yip, yip yeah. for me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad we all agree. I'm, yeah. I'm yipping it as I'll well. I'll send you the link, guys. <clears throat> yeah, I know. Well, it used to be entertaining, but ki- kids annoy me. So, yeah. Nice. yeah. Especially when they hit it better than I do. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Ta- talented kids don't know yeah. um what have we got okay you're two shots behind and you lay up on the 15th in the final round ripped or yipped two shots it's behind it's a par it's a par five in the 15th? On the 15th yeah two shots behind 
Yeah, final still day. plenty of golf to play. Still plenty of golf to play. I'm, I'm not that. But yeah, oh uh, yes, ripped, ripped. You're ripping it. Yeah, I'm gonna keep my ball in play. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's uh, next? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yep. Got to go for it. Got to go for it. Thank you. Yeah, I'm the same. I mean, realistically, if this is a, a round anywhere on the, we, we'd all go, I'd go for that every, every day yeah. of the week. So. No, and it, it won't, it, yeah, I know what's going to happen. We know exactly what's going to happen. A couple of penalty mm, strokes. Yeah. Um, mm. So Tim I'm cup. Just add a Tim bit cup in. again. Yeah. I might just add a bit in for Damo. Which one of your 42 clubs would you hit? Against <laughs> <himself>? <laughs> um, that's exactly right. I'm I'm yipping, but I know I'm like Rand. I, I'm going to yip it and have a go, but it ain't. Yeah, getting yeah, right. So that's it is good to say that. So, so it's actually a layup anyway. Mm. Yeah, that's right. Because you can't quite reach there. Can't reach yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm it, and hopefully, what it will do is not land in the water anyway. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? So it's it's mm. a going for a shot. But I don't hit it well enough for it to reach the green, and it ends up being a layup. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, Jay, so just to yes. help you out, a layup yeah. is not actually going for the green in one shot. Yeah. Can, right. I, can, can I help the yeah, translate? Ran. I'll just translate yeah. a little bit further, Jay. So when, at putt putt, when you've got the, the windmill. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you, you go up to the pop you go up to the windmill, and then you Very go to the good. second yeah. shot. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Instead of yeah, um, so um, uh, what did Norman do on the fifteenth? I think he got a birdie right on the last day. I'm gonna have to go back and look at the footage, but I, I think I'm, I think I like the um, the idea of doing the the layup. So what's right. that? Is that? You'd yeah, be that's, going for birdie. That's uh, you're ripped. You're ripped. ripped. Yeah, ripped, 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 ripped. Rip, rip, rip. Yeah, nice. yeah. Ripped. So, uh, what? Yeah. I'm yipping it. I'm going for it all day. And um, okay. When I when I duck, and Jason, duck, I'll be left there laughing. Yeah. <laughs> when I duck hook one into the woods on the left, I'll just be looking at you, giving you the finger. Like, should have yeah, that's right. Up. Yeah, that's right. Um, will we have a live winner this year? Ripped or yipped? Uh, ripped. I actually think we're going to have three of them in the top five. Wow. Ripped. Big call. Nice. Uh, I'm going yipped. My um, fantasy draft strategy is based around <laughs> BJA players. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Which we're um, yet to know what that is. We'll find out shortly. Yeah, yeah I'm going PGA because um, – I've got yeah, I've got fifty bucks on Jason Day, so I, I'm yeah. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Shout I'm out sports bet. I'm really hopeful for Minwoo Lee's chances. I don't know why I didn't pick him in the in the fantasy. I, I don't know why I didn't do that. But anyway, I didn't. So, um, but Minwoo Lee for me is a big chance. So, um, I, so what am I saying? I'm saying that's a yet. Uh, no, yet, yeah. It's a real, yeah. yeah. Right. And, and for all our listeners, please um, bear with us for the uh, lack of continuity with this episode. Um, yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, in the future, we haven't pre-recorded this, and the masters are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, it all makes sense in ten minutes. Chase, club lock. I have to say, it's a. It's a yip from me. I've, I've got a flatmate who's keen on golf. I asked him, who do you think he's going to win? He said the Japanese fellow. So was it Hideki Matsuyama? Yep. Yes, yep. He's PGA? Yep. Good yes. There you go. Hot tip. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Okay, nice. Put something on it. And I'm, nice I'm, going, I'm going yipped as well. I'm I'm going to say we're going to have a first-time winner. It'd be nice to see. Mm-hmm. Yep. Don't, yep. don't want to back-to-back. Want a new fellow yep. to have a win. And also, yep. Damo, I was just, just reading before, Minwoo Lee is playing with a broken finger. He's busted. Mm. He dropped uh, some weights on it the other day, a couple of days ago. Right. So we've got Minwoo with a broken <laughs> finger, Cam Smith with bloody Big Mac poisoning. Yeah. <laughs> Damo with the beast. He's made with a bung shoulder. Beast. Yeah. In and out burger. Yeah. Yeah. All right, okay. do it next. next. Next ripped or yipped. Should they rename? This is going to hurt you, Ash. I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> should they rename the par three sixteenth Norman? Ripped. I think that'd be great, actually. Norman's hole. <laughs> Norman's <laughs> hole. Yeah, ripped. Why not? Uh, 
I'm going yipped, um, as you can see for those watching. Yeah, nice. Um, nice sweater. This, this is the hole where Tiger arguably played the greatest shot in mm. the game of golf. Mm -hmm. uh, his chip onto uh, the green so far mm. left and high of the pin. Uh, it then just, you know, rode, rode the uh, the grain and, and the slope mm. and, and dribbled in. Um, so my vote is for it to be renamed the Tiger rather than nice. the Norman. Okay. So, yeah, you, you win. Yep. Rambo. Uh, I'm going to go yips um, just because I think, yeah, no, I, I just don't think he should. I don't think he gets the right to have anything. <laughs> sort of named after him, so. Yeah, Man, that's a big call. <laughs> I I reckon maybe we can call it Norman's Ghost. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be a good one. That would be more fitting if it was something like that because the 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 holes each hole does have it a name. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. You know they got six sort of buds. Lilac. It's called yeah. Rose. Red bud. Red bud is the sixteenth. There you go. Right. So they've, they've got very particular names. You know, mm. Amen or all that kind of stuff. So yeah. yeah Norman Norman's ghost has got an interesting ring to it. Yeah. <laughs> Jace Clublock. Um, I'm going to say yipped. I'm, I'm not that heartless. I, I feel like we don't want to celebrate someone's misery. So I still think it's eating away at Norman. I reckon he's still thinking about this when he's doing his bench press, when oh, he's thinking about that. Oh, what happened? Um, when he's walking yeah, his it's, dog it's, on the beach. He's walking his dog on the beach. It's yeah. a hard watch. But if I wasn't, if I was heartless... I would put a bronze statue of the ball where it landed in the water, just hanging oh. out from the, <laughs> from the water. <laughs> that, 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 if I was heartless. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I'm not, but yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> Is the yeah, of the replay of the 96 round or Greg Norman walking on the beach? Yeah, it's, it's oh. hard. If you Google uh, Norman at the beach, it, you'll you'll know what yeah. we're talking about, but it's, a, it's, yeah. it's hard to watch. It's very... Yeah. yeah, very hard. Um, yeah, hard, hard is the word. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. nip it as well. I've, I think the bloke suffered enough at that course, um, and <sighs> to not even be able to take part in my Bunnings Bunnings themed dinner. Yeah, because he's never won it. It just sucks. Yeah. Yep. yep. Next ripped or yipped. The winner should add a personal touch to the jacket, i.e. A bit of Cam Smith's mullet, or a bedazzle, <laughs> a personal touch, like a, a patch, nice. perhaps. Yeah. Okay. Oh, why not? Why not? I'll go ripped. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'll go. I'll go ripped. But it do, it doesn't have to carry on. It won't be like a Sesame Street character ten years down the track, will it? It's just like you get your version, and then you the next oh, person. Oh no, on. no, these all accumulate. It's oh, they accumulate. Yeah. Okay, oh. so it'd be like a, a big bird costume. Oh, yeah, that would be funny. Marvellous, ripped. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Thanks. Ripped. Um, I'm, I'm yipped because um, what I'm envisaging that it's going to have all these different chevrons on it. Um, mm. yeah, that's what they call it, aren't they? The, the, yeah. 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 Um, chevron. The, problem that, the problem is you're going to turn into – it's going to look like a Michael Jackson jacket and then – Oh, or, yes. Or, it's, or what's the guy that – Thinks he's Michael J uh, Corey Feldman. Feldman. Yes. Yeah. Like, oh. It's going to look like yeah. he's wearing it. So. Yeah. That's, uh, okay. Nice. Um, I, I think I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to go yipped because it nothing really goes with green. No. Red and green should never be seen. They say, and that's the greatest football team. It's very hard to to accessorise with dark green. Good yeah. Point. Yeah. So I'm going no. Yep. It'll look a little bit like a 1987 headbangers denim jacket or something after a while, yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah, all those patches. <laughs> yeah. I, I thought about this one for a good five minutes. I was going back and forth, rip you, rip Yeah, you nice. Know. And um, yeah. we don't want it looking we don't want it looking like a passport and we don't want it looking like a year twelve year twelve school uniform. Oh, <laughs> wake up and day. for that yeah. reason, yeah, we just we just want it to look crisp and clean yeah. and just, you know, ironed and put back where it belongs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, don't, you don't really want Greg Norman was here or <laughs> no, I don't like him. Yeah, I don't. Like <laughs> <laughs> um, um yeah, look it was a hard watch, 
Dame, so no, no, yeah. Yeah. definitely not. No. <laughs> um, I, I, I'm going to, I'm going to yip it as well because we just need this bit of tradition left in the PGA. Le, leave Augusta alone, I guess. Yeah. Nice. All right. Okay. Run that time, right. Julie. What have we got? Okay, I got a couple more. So the second last one. Would you wash your master's jacket with whites? Ripped or yipped? <laughs> I'd never wash the master's jacket, exactly. so uh, yipped. Yeah, I'd, I'd never wash it. It's going to smell Good. of me forever. So yeah. Yep. I'm with yep. you. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd take it to the dry cleaners the day before I have to take it back. Um, you know, oh, yeah. you want to definitely take it to nice. um, uh, dry cleaners. You know, the ones that have changed, I think you should dry clean it. Um, yeah. You take it. yeah. Other ones. Yeah. No, you don't need to wash them. No. I'm going to say, you, to, you know, the cricketers with the baggy green, they keep it as is. Mm. Oh, um, yes. Yes. Yeah. And also, you want to leave your pheromones on the on the uniform. Yeah, so, exactly. you know. Yeah. Yeah. So like your territory, AJ. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. I'm yeah. The same. I'm, That's I'm my way of saying it. I was here. <laughs> yeah. I'm That's yipping right. it as well. I'm, I'm going to hand it back, Stinky. And yeah, last nice. but not least, ripped or yep, Aussie in the top 10. Ripped. Jason Day. Hurts me to say yipped. No, Jason Day going to win, so, yeah, definitely ripped. Yeah, I'm Mm -hmm. ripped as well. We we go well at Masters. Don't don't win it, but we go well. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I'm going to say ripped as well. It's just something to, you know, look forward to if you see someone hovering around the the top ten, you know, a bit of of interest. Exactly. Um, So, yeah, ripped. I'm ripping it as well. Go the Aussies. Nice. Love it. On that note, here's a message for our sponsors. I'm going to wrap up the show. Big brand golf balls, up to 70% cheaper than retail. We're one of Australia's largest sellers of secondhand golf balls, so you save big time. Discountgolfballs.com.au. Never pay full price again. Don't forget to put in the uh, code ECGGOLF when you're at discountgolfballs.com.au. You get an extra 10% off. Um, and coming up after the break, we're going to have a, a couple of new more fa- a couple of new more faces, a couple of more new faces joining us for the uh, US Masters Fantasy Draft. And Tim from Discount Golf Ball will be joining us. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, golf lovers of the world, that is the end of this part of the Hackers podcast. I want to take the opportunity to thank you for listening to us wherever you are in the world. I want to thank Zook for all the effort you've done the, the first 12 episodes. Yeah. Zook, thank you. Rambo, thank you for joining us again. And your uh, your uh, who's in your four ball has set the standard globally as some of the funniest stuff I've ever heard. Thank you. Uh, Damo, President of ECG, thanks for joining us again, mate. Hopefully you can come back in the coming weeks after a short break. Pleasure. Thank you. Uh, Club Lock, a pleasure to have you. Great input. Really enjoyed it. Thanks, brother. Thanks, guys. Nice club. And Dooley from Port Macquarie. Every week I look forward to talking to you, and I really love the Ripped or Yip segment. So do the people of Uganda. Thank you so much, brother. No problem, mate. On that note, we'll see you after the break for the US Masters Fantasy Draft, and uh, all the best. You're listening to the ECG Hackers Podcast. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Each week we are dropping a new episode which you can find on Spotify or YouTube. Also check us out on Instagram and Twitter or X at ECG Hackers. Send us your funny golf tales.